Asa Hartford. Kenny Dalvish a return across the face of that check goal. And Jordan couldn't quite get up fast enough to turn in what would have been a simple chance. A great run here by Dalvish. He turned superbly. The noise is deafening, but the touch wasn't there for Jordan. Masson. Pulling Dalvish towards him, taking that pass from Joe Jordan. Kenny Dalvish. Long cross towards Jordan again. Masson with a long shot. Caught that beautifully. But equally, the Czech goalkeeper was nicely behind it. Coming out very well. He controlled it well, in fact, Masson. And the keeper down equal to it. And they brought up the big number four, Dvořák. Nehoda's in there. Murders in there, played wide for Dobiash. That's his shot, that wasn't far away. Scored in the European Championship final against uh, West Germany, Dobiash, which of course the Czechs won in Belgrade, scored their second goal. And in fact, that was a little too close to comfort here for the Scots. Was uh, allowed to go a little way there. Here's Polak and here's Mazny. Nehoda is waiting in the middle. McQueen getting it away, but not far. Kajucek. Kajucek again. He's got a great left foot, but not on that occasion. And Danny McGrain for Scotland. Now Willie Johnston. Dalglish turned on beautifully. Can Jordan turn on this? Oh, and a good save again by the keeper. Dalglish already causing all sorts of problems for the Czechs. Turned nicely on that header. Jordan himself turned well. And the keeper again did well. That would just have gone inside. The number five. Pull out the number nine. And Willie Johnston, the number 17, with the corner for Scotland. Masson in there. McQueen is on the goal line. Causing trouble there. And it's there by Jordan! A lovely corner. McQueen causing trouble on that line. Jordan rising superbly. Past the keeper, corner of the net, 1-0 to Scotland. And from another angle, look at the bumping and boring there, that was interesting. But look at the jump as well, and the goal for Scotland. one nil to Scotland, 18 minutes gone. Now we shall see how the Czechs, with seven of their European winning side, can fare at Hamden tonight. They're a side notoriously that travelled badly, and since they won that championship in 1976 against West Germany, they've played five matches away from Czechoslovakia and have not won uh, one of them. And they come here tonight with their morale pretty low because they had a terrible journey up from London the night before last they had to sit in a train all night and got no sleep and they were worried by that they'll be more than worried by that goal of Joe Jordan that puts Scott in the head now now the throw for Scotland a good long one by Willie Johnston and a good fist away but the whistle had gone in fact it was a foul throw on the far side I do check they heard her in the middle McQueen got the better of that one. And here's Asa Hartford, number 10. And here's Tenny Dalvish. Rioch, Hartford. Good play by the Scots. Willie Johnston. Joe Jordan's on the far side. Oh, and the goalkeeper's lost it. And Hartford has put it in. 2 nothing. Just look at the contrast there. Pollock head down. Hartford jubilant and Jordan creating problems there as Willie Johnston floated this cross.
cross in. The goalkeeper looked to have got it and then just threw it down invitingly at Asa Hartford's feet. And you will not get an easier goal in the World Cup than that one. 2-0 to Scotland. And from the camera behind the goal at the other end, what a tantalising cross by Willie Johnston. The keeper under pressure, but losing it, and that's what you call an open goal. So the Scots are in tremendous heart. Asa Hartford having to put them 2 0 ahead with still eight minutes to go to half time. Well, it was the keeper's mistake. Only winning his sixth cup tonight, 23 years old, Pavel Michalik. A real test of his nerve. And in the early minutes, it looked as though he was equal to it with one or two very sound saves. But now the Czechs are really up against it. Jardine. Jordan, but Gerg for Czechoslovakia, an interception there, and here comes Scotland again. Oh, and a good save that time from Willie Johnston, springing up on that right-hand side. But Mitchell got down well. Bit of activity up a front there with uh, Rioch now very much involved. But here's Danny McGrain. That's not a bad shot. They let him go a long way. In the end, it was a lot wider than it in the first period. Here's the Celtic and Scotland fullback. Wider the goal, and in the end, quite a bit wide. The Queen took a bump there, but that's a part of the business for men when they come up for corners. Masson again. Good high corner. Fist of the keeper. Jardine with the header, and it's in there! Kenny Dalglish. And that makes it three. It was Jardine's header. But it was Dalglish's deflection. There's the uh, first header. Kenny Dalglish with a touch past the keeper. Three nothing. Look again, look at the deflection the number eight puts on it, wide of the keeper, good goal, 3-0. With ten minutes of the second half gone. Free kick to Scotland. again that time beaten by Dvorak Polak trying to get uh, Gajducek down the right Nehoda and Masny are waiting in the middle oh what a good save good shot there by Gajducek and the first real positive bit of action that Alan Ruff has had to uh, do in this game turning it over very confidently and here's Chepkovic Gallis played there for Masny. Oh, for Gallis again. Could be dangerous, this. In the end, it's not. McQueen there to do the job for Scotland. Turned back by Jordan for Masson. And here's Benny Dalglish again. 
Now Dalglish getting there, knocking it out of the keeper's hands, and Vorjak playing it back to him, and the keeper having a right go at Dalglish. Dalglish saying, well, I was just going for the ball. Well, let's see if he was. A loose ball, 50-50. Was that in the keeper's hands or not? And from behind the goal. Well, he looks as though he was playing with the ball and went through and collided with the keeper, quite right to give the free kick. Nehuda. It's Hartford. Now Rioch. Relatively quiet game Bruce Rioch's had. Oh, but he's getting past Pollack now. And here's Delgrish. He let it go for Hartford, and Hartford wasn't expecting it, but he almost made it. My word, what a good move. And really, the, uh, almost the right finish. Delgrish, a lovely dummy. I think it took him on the wrong foot for a moment, but his determination got him a chance, and Hartford just over the bar with it. He's 33 years old, the oldest player in the Scottish side, but he's worked harder than anyone tonight. And here he is again on the ball, wanting it all the time. And what a nice pass there for Dalglish. Now for Asa Hartford. Oh, that wasn't far wide, and the checks were wide open in defence. How they allowed Hartford to go as far as that. Well, only they know. But the shot in the end was always just going wide of that left-hand post as we look at it. Guide a check for Czechoslovakia. Nehoda leaving the ball behind. Guide a check again, left foot, goal! Well, Geidecek has pulled one back. One that the Scots could ill afford to lose. Remember, goal difference might be vital in the final reckoning. He's got a sweet left foot. And that beat Alan Ruff into the corner of the Scottish net. Here's Geidecek again. Took it so well. And a goal for Czechoslovakia. Well, the yellow card for real. For the foul on Geidecek, the man who scored. I must say, it's been a, a brilliant Scottish performance. The only blemish on it for me is that one or two of the Scottish challenges have been far too vigorous. Masny. Well, if the Scots give the Scots give another goal away, a night of glory will be turned almost into a night of sadness. They've got the two points, but they don't want to give away goals. Masson now to Rioch. Now Gleish has made a brilliant run across the field there. Rioch went a long way through with that challenge on Pollack. The crowd don't like it. Again, it was a bad Scottish challenge, and again, the referee was right to give the free kick. Riot really carried through with that one. Geidecek, who's taken quite a buffeting tonight, but who was beaten and beaten easily there by Sandy Jarding. Here's Pollack. The Czechs getting a bit of breeze in their sails at the moment, and uh, fancy they might be able to snatch another goal. Well, they've got seven minutes left. They are 3-1 down. Masny, come for Masson. Hartford. Trying to get a 1-2 with Dalglish, but Hartford had stopped. 
and the Czechs take it up again through Gajducek. Gallis has made a run forward. Oh, and nobody really wanted to go for that one, but instead it's Nehoda played in again towards Gallis. And Sandy Jardine turning it back to his keeper, Alan Roth. Massa. And Jardine. Crowd a little irritated by that. to check free kick to Czechoslovakia guy to check the man who scored the only goal for Czechoslovakia is with it here's Masny a touch for Gallis back for Masny again and that's it it's a victory by 3-1 for Scotland with the goals coming from Jordan Hartford and Dalglish guy to check having scored one nine minutes from the end from Czechoslovakia but it was never going to be enough. An exchange of shirts. Hartford, who's been absolutely brilliant for Scotland. Ali McLeod, the delighted Scottish manager. And we're going to be back after this short break to bring you back to Hampden Park for more views on this great Scottish victory. We'll be right back with you.